this morning I want to conclude the theme, the God that we worship. Who is he? This God is the one that gives us salvation because his presence in his son Jesus Christ is to work out salvation in our life. Because there were many people, Moses, who spoke to God and God promised him what he would do with him. Yet still, Moses spoke about salvation. Mm. David spoke about salvation. Mm. Jonah spoke about salvation. Mm. Therefore, the God that we worship is all about salvation. From the beginning. From the beginning. Because mm. man has left his first love, left his estate, and joined him with the devil. For that reason, Man is lost to all that God has prepared for him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me read Exodus chapter 34, verse 11, when God was speaking to Moses about what Moses would do. Verse 11 says, Observe thou that which I command thee this day. Behold, drive out before thee the Amorites and the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Perizzites and the Hivites and the Jebusites. Take heed to thyself. Be careful about yourself. Lest thou make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land whether thou goest. Lest it be for is nay in the midst of thee. But ye shall destroy their altars, break their images, and cut down their groves. For thou shalt worship no other God. For the Lord God, for the Lord whose name is Jealous, is a jealous God. Let me stop there. God hate sharing us with him. Actually, he doesn't want to share us with any image, any power, any spirit. For that reason, as the children of Israel entering that promised land, where these people are, Jebusites, Hivites, Canaanites, and many are ites where God began to speak to Moses what they must not do to avoid making a covenant with the people there. What you God observe about the children of Israel is that they love to worship idols. Irrespective, God revealed himself to them in many fashions. The Passover feast, the Passover lamp. How God destroyed the firstborns of Egypt for Pharaoh being stubborn. How God caused the rivers to become blood. How frogs invade their bedrooms, everything. But yet still, after God had delivered them from all these things, they have the tendency to love to worship idols as other nations. They forgot that they are peculiar people Special people that God intend to do something through them and for the world. Praise the Lord. Amen. What was God doing? God was preparing how he would deliver us from sin. And through them, others will also be saved from their sins. But the children of Israel, they are stiff naked people. They don't love to listen to the instructions of God, the commandments of God, 
They do whatever they want to do. And God is reminding them about this. God said to Moses, and what is my topic? He said, Thou shalt worship no other God. For the Lord, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous God. When we talk about jealousy, it started with God, even before wife, husband, and children. Why should God be jealous? As I say later on, nobody would like to share his wife with another man. No woman would like to share the husband with another woman. Therefore, that jealousy that was in God was in man too, and was in woman. Praise the Lord. If you say we want to worship God, worship God alone. Why? He is your creator. No matter how you argue it, he is your creator. You can't run away from that. Let's enter into debate. Who created you? You can't say blankly, I was created by the devil. No way. You say I don't want to accept to worship God. Who gave you breath of life? Who gave you eye to see the beauty of the world? Who gave ear to hear bears whistling, music and everything? Who gave you eye to see, mouth to speak, strength to do things? We have been sinning against God for rejecting him because of sin nature. Do you know why we are rejecting God? Sin! That took place in the garden has not been pacified, has not been eradicated, has not been repented of by Adam and Eve. And that thing ran through the gene. If you look at Cain and his descendants, they love to be sinning because they were give, God has given up on them. For that reason, God chose to make Another generation that came to set a Noah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But before you can understand this thing, you have to know the God that you worship. Yeah, Who is this that God? You just ask us, oh, I believe in God. I love God. But your character is contrary to who God is. For that reason, when they tell you about God, you have argument to put up. Hmm. But I say earlier on that, God said, nobody will see me with his eyes and live. You know why? If anybody see God in his totality, he will make craft out of him. He will make clays out of him. He will make merchandise out of him. That is why. It's like that. But the only one declared to us is his son, Jesus Christ. For Jesus Christ said to us, I and my father, we are one. Nobody knows the father except the son. Nobody knows the son except the father. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Nobody could do what God has done. What God has created. That is why there is a need to know where we stand. Let's open the book of uh, uh, Psalm 104. Psalm 104. Psalm 104. Psalm 104. What is he saying? Let's read from verse 22 about what God has done. That makes him God. That you cannot argue and win. Verse 22. The sun ariseth. They gather themselves together and lay them down in their dens. Man goeth forth unto his work and to his labor until the evening. Verse 24. Look at what David said. When I remember this, I marvel. He said, Oh, 
Lord, how manifold are thy works. In wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is full of thy riches. So is this great and wild sea. Wherein are things creeping, innumerable, both small and great beasts. There go the ships, the boats. There is that Leviathan, whom thou hast made to play therein. Let me explain this place. This Leviathan is an animal. God created it. His king, no arrow, spear, throw at him, can pierce through and destroy him. When he opens his mouth, fire comes out and can make cause burn. That's a creature that God has created. But God's heart, this creature, wait upon God. For his daily food. Who can compare himself to God? No. Then you wake up, you speak. Anyhow, about God. Mm. You don't even care who you blaspheme. But adventure, if they tell you about God, for you to humble yourself and listen, what do you do? They argue it out. And blaspheme. Sometimes they use vulgar ways. Mm -hmm. Who are supposed not to be. Mm -hmm. The Bible said, verse 27, This wait all upon thee, the Levitan, and all other animals, that thou mayest give them their meat in due season. What, how powerful they were. Why can't they get their own meal? But they wait upon God. <laughs> that thou give us them. They gather. Thou openest thy hand. And they are filled with good. Thou hide thy face. And they are troubled. If God... Had his face from us. Where are we going to be? Mm. But we take God for granted. Now. We turn away from God. And things that he has created. You make image of them. And worship them. Mm. What a travesty. Mm. What a tragedy. Thank God I know this truth. Hallelujah. Thank God I know this truth. Mm -hmm. No amount of conviction mm -hmm. will convict me, no. convince me mm -hmm. to bow mm -hmm. to an image. Hallelujah. If this Leviathan can wait upon God for his daily food, how much more me? First one, Jesus said, Thou, but thou givest them, they gather. Thou open thy hand, they are filled with good. Verse 29. Thou hide thy face, they are troubled. Mm. Thou open thy hand, they are filled with good. That's the work of God. Thou hide thy face, they are troubled. Thou take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. For thus they are, thus they will return. Thou mm -hmm. are of thy spirit, and they are created. And thou renewest the face of the earth. The glory of the Lord shall endure forever. The Lord shall rejoice in his works. He looketh on the earth, and he trembleth. He touched the hills and the smoke. Who can do all this thing if it's not God? Only God brother. Hmm. The great men. Hmm. Those who say yes. 
Those false prophets. Those fetish priests. They cannot do what our Creator can do. Irrespective, they depend upon God. They don't want to recognize God. To worship Him. What I'm saying is that there's a need for us to repent towards God. Yeah. And believe it's only because it's a Jesus who He has sent. Amen. So that you will be saved. And stop blaspheming the name of the Lord. Amen. Yeah. And when you come to worship God, don't worship any other image. Stone, wood, even the rivers that are flowing, the mountains that are tall, the big animals, elephants, lions, crocodiles, snakes. It's abomination to turn away from God and make those things your God that you worship. Because God won Moses. Mm. The people's land which you are going. Don't look at what they are doing. Don't enter into covenant with them. Mm. Don't marry their children. Mm. That they will take you away from this true God. Yeah. To worship idol. Nope. Yeah. There's something about marriage. If you don't marry it properly. It's like when you are a man. There's a tendency that when you are a powerful man and a woman is from either other where she home, it will turn your heart away from the Lord. And you'll be in trouble with God. Praise the Lord. Amen. God told Moses that don't marry their daughters. Don't eat their sacrifice that they make to their idols. Or go and bow to their idols. Mm. For you are a peculiar person. Spiritual people. Unto me. Mm. Because of Abraham. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But yes, still. The children of Israel. They don't listen. Mm. But there's a warning. That God gave. When you open the book of Psalm 9 verse 17. He said, The wicked shall be turned to hell, and all nations that forget God. What does that mean? Anyone that turns his back on God is described to be very wicked. And those nations that will not obey the instruction of God, changing all kind of lifestyle, forcing people to do the negative, they will all end up in hell. Why am I saying this? You can never escape hell if you become so wicked and turn your back on God. People are taking it for granted. But when God speaks His word, He makes sure. It comes to pass. Because the Bible said God is not a man to lie. Mm -hmm. Not a son of man to repent. For he is God. Has he spoken? Has it not come to pass? Praise the Lord. Yep. Hallelujah. Well, certainly. I love. I love David. When I read this word. This verse. Oh Lord. How manifold are thy work? In wisdom, thou hast made them all, and the earth is full of thy riches. Who, rich, who, who, pro, who, who put riches in the earth? God. Silver and gold was demonstrated in the earth by God. Fishes in the sea. God put them there. By his word. Animals in the forest. Trees that are growing. That will make timber out of them. The grass. 
the herbs that we eat, they were created by God. If you think about this, when you are hearing me now, I suggest you cease worshipping idols, images, wood, stones, and worship the most high God. God. That the cross of the matter, all that we are saying, to turn you away from worshipping images, idols, and worship the most high God. Mm-hmm. But if you don't know this God, you'll be serving idols, thinking you are serving God. Mm-hmm. What does the Bible say? Ignorance of the law right. is no excuse. Mm-hmm. If you are hearing me now, hear me good. If you don't repent towards God, based upon the message that is coming to you, and you go and do the opposite. You are digging a big hole. That when you enter. You cannot come out. And that will be your doom for good. And I want to conclude by saying that. There is life after this life. So far as there is heaven. There is hell too. There is a place for those. Who rebel against God. They will find their place. In the lake of fire. Yep. But those who repented towards God yes. and have faith in Jesus Christ, only Jesus Christ, no other prophet, no other guru, but Jesus Christ alone, Hallelujah. you have your place in the kingdom of God Hallelujah. where eternity ever come to an end. Hmm. There will be no darkness. There will be no night. You will be in the daytime and you will never have an end to the day because Hallelujah. it's day. Where there is night, you are waiting for light, day to come. That's why you count them, day and night. But in the kingdom of God, there's no night for you to count. That's why it's called eternity long. You'll be with the presence of the Lord. You will not go sick. You will not go hungry. You will be enjoying. Because the first earth that God created... Has been polluted mm. by the sins of Adam and Eve. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Had it not been so, there will be no need for new heaven. Mm-hmm. Because I learned that God said, as He visited the children of Israel, He visited Adam and Eve also in the garden. Mm. But when He came for another time, he saw that they were not there. Sin through the devil has entered into their life. And they were hiding from God. Just as like anybody that sin, a child that sin, when he sees his father coming, his mother coming, he's trying to stay away from the mother and the father, not to be questioned. But the question sister, you can run, but you cannot hide. Praise the Lord. Some of you, you know what you are doing. You think you can run, but you can't, run, you can't hide from you God. Can't hide from Hear me? You can run away from God, but you can't hide because He is the one who created you. He knows you're sitting down and you're rising up. His breath keep you alive. His breath create you. Your flesh. The flesh and his breath create your soul. That we call, God gave a name to the soul. It shall be called a living soul. That will live forever and put on immortal body. Either to appear before God or find yourself in the lake of fire. But I just want to ask you, what do you want to spend eternity? Eternity means a place that will never bring, come to an end. If you are in torment, you remain there. If you are enjoying, you remain there. But choose where you want to go. What am I talking about? David said, verse 32, he looked at on the earth, and the earth trembled. Hey, you see what is happening in our land? Mm-hmm. Hurricanes, flood, 
Four years. Why is it so? The nation has forgotten God. Why? Of their wickedness. No father will accept a son to turn his back on him and serve another person. His jealousy is burning like fire. His wrath is on the ascendancy. Do you think that father will spare you? That father will not spare you. I can't care for you, bring you into the world. Then all of a sudden, a creature that I've created who rebelled against me and I cast him out of my kingdom. And he came on earth here. And because he deceived you, he become his servant. Oh, my brother, my sister, think a little bit. Ask yourself, who is my creator? Who am I worshipping? Yeah. If you are not worshipping God, in one way or the other, you are serving the devil. Mm-hmm. You can't say, I don't bow to idols. Mm. I don't sacrifice to idols. But the you know, love Jesus Christ, as your personal Savior and Lord, you are automatically serving the devil. Mm. And there is a punishment attached to serving the devil. Because it has become an affront to God. Yes. God said, my name is Jealous, for I am a jealous God. Mm-hmm. Think about that word, Jealous. Jealous is something serious. For God himself to say, I'm a jealous God, he's jealous over you. He's jealous over me. Quit serving the idol as you hear me. For God is the only one that's worthy to be praised. He revealed himself in the Father, in the Word, in the Holy Ghost. If you are not serving God, then you don't know about the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. You are having a relationship with God through these three entities. Praise the Lord. He said, he looked on the earth and the earth trembled. Mm-hmm. He turned the hills and the hills smoke. Oh. Hmm. See how things are happening around us. We don't know what to do. If you have to have an answer to stop all this chaos, we would have done something about it. God has the power to stop flood, to quench the fire, and do whatever is needed to be do to be done, so that you have your peace of mind. But here we come, we turn our back on this God. We are promoting what abomination in the land, but they will not allow you to say this. But the Bible say, man of God, speak unto them. Those who have ears, let them hear what the Spirit of God is saying, that they will repent. Repentance can only come towards God. Faith can only come through Jesus Christ. And if you are in that, in the midst of this chaos, you will be protected. You will be saved. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Then he said, verse 33, I will sing unto the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God while I have my being. What does that mean? Worship the Lord in his full totality. Don't add anything to him. Don't make an image. Worship that small and come and worship God too small. God is a jealous God. He said he will not share himself with any of his creation. Either you are serving me or you are serving the devil. Then you know why you will be heading to us. Hallelujah. I will sing unto the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God. The God that we worship. While I have my being. 
My meditation of him shall be sweet. I will be glad. I will be glad. I will be glad in the Lord. Let the sinner be consumed out of the earth. Let the wicked be no more. Bless thou the Lord, O my soul. Praise ye the Lord. You see, you can't say that, bless ye the Lord. You can't say that, O my soul, praise ye the Lord. Unless you repent towards God, who is speaking to you right now, and believe in his son Jesus, his son alone, his son alone, Jesus Christ, the word of God, and thou shall be saved. Many people are making comparison. There is no, there's no, it's not only one way. Whereby you can repent and be accepted by God. There are other ways. That's the lie of the devil. I want you to hear this. Nobody has come to die for you on the cross. None of the prophets, the gurus, have experience with God. They were the creation of God, yes. But because of sin nature, they turn their back on God. And the Bible said, the wicked who turn his back on God shall find himself in lake of fire hell. And the nations of the world who turn the image of God into lasciviousness, fornications, abominable lifestyle, thinking something good will happen. God is watching you. God is not mock at. Is watching you. Either you repent and correct your ways. For God is truth. God is life. God is light. God is power. God is wisdom. God is the light of the world. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There's something about the truth. Buy the truth. And sell it not. Have you heard that before? Yes. Mm -hmm. The truth is a powerful Weapon. Mm -hmm. And if you hear the truth, you don't repent towards God. You sit on it, procrastinating. This is what I heard. The truth will explode and it's destroy you. So, why should truth explode and destroy you? Because you have put your hand upon him. And he doesn't want to be there, he wants to come out. So, if you are holding him, after hearing the truth, he will explode and destroy you. Because the truth is powerful. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This God I'm talking about, the devil is working against the knowledge of God. But see the topic system, the God that we worship, who is he? I want you to know if you heard all that I've said and you still don't believe, let's open the book of Matthew. Matthew. Matthew chapter 4. Matthew chapter 4. Let's hear an account of Matthew about Jesus. I'm going to read it. There was Jesus led out of the spirit, out of this spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Before you start your assignment, you have to be tried to see whether you are fit for the assignment. So what the Bible said, then was Jesus led up of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Why did the son of God be tempted by the devil? There's a reason for that. Therefore, when you are being tempted by circumstances, there's a reason for that. Either for promotion or for demotion. If you fail. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterwards unhungered. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. You see the tempter? He knows he's hungry. So he's tempting him. 
But there's something about this. Paul wrote to Timothy. Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 15. What did he say? He said, study to show yourself a proven to God, a workman that did not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Mm -hmm. As a truth is a weapon. Yeah. When you sit on it for too long, it will explode and destroy you. Mm. The truth that people are holding down in government circles, in companies, in churches, in workplaces. If you hold it for far too long, he will explode and destroy those who are holding it. Yep. But the truth came out from Jesus Christ. What did he say? And the tempter came to him, verse 3, and said, If thou be the Son of God, command these stones to be made bread. Hmm. But he answered and said, Jesus answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Mm. Can you call to the devil mm. when you are in trouble? He's tempting your mind to violate the instruction of God. Mm. That's why you have to study the word of God mm. to be approved. A workman that needs not to be ashamed. Rightly divide the word of truth. I sit down there. Mm. When the teaching is going on, mm. I'm receiving it to myself. But you will never know what I'm receiving. Because I know this verse. If you don't study this word, even to how to divide it, the truth, you'll be tossed here and flow. You ask yourself, I'm serving God. Why am I going through all these things? Because you don't know how to divide the word of truth. Praise the Lord. Then the devil took him, verse 5, up into a holy city and set him on the pinnacle of the temple and said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dost their foot against a stone. You know what? The devil was caught in Psalm 91. Verse 11 and 12, which is our protection. But he quoted it wrongly to deceive the Son of God. What was the answer the Son of God gave him? He said, Jesus said unto him, Again, it is written, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Many of us are tempting God. When we hear his word, we just don't want to believe it. We don't want to obey it. It is written. There's nothing that can offset the truth about God. Nothing. No power. Even the devil is under the influence of God. When God said, devil, stop there. He cannot move. Because it was his creation. It's only that he rebelled against God. That's why he came out from the kingdom of God. The same way, we also rebel against God now. Even when we hear the truth, we rebel. You don't want me to listen. May God forgive you that you listen to this message and repent towards God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 8, and again, the third one. The devil took him up into a exceeding high mountain. And show him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. And said unto him, to, the, uh, to Jesus, mm -hmm. All these things will I give thee if thou will fall down and worship me. Look at that. What is so important about worship? Mm. Ask yourself if you don't know the God that you worship. You will bow to the devil and his images that he caused you to do. Mm -hmm. Do you know we have images all over the world? Yeah. Some are made with gold. Mm -hmm. 
Some are made of wood. Some are a place set apart, sacred places. Some are shrines that people go. Seeking God. But God is not there. It's only the devil that you meet. And he will instruct you. Take you out. Take you out of what you are to do. But I just want to tell you that Jesus Christ knew what he's doing. He understand the game. He beat the devil to his own game. Verse 10. Then said Jesus unto him, Get the hands, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship, hallelujah, the Lord, thy God, and him only shall thou save. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Serving God is a special honor. Yes. Worshiping God is a special honor. If you fail to worship God, the true God, and you bow to images, idols, demonic spirits, you are spell your doom. You will need God at a certain time. But you can't get him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This needs, these words need to be spoken. That those who hear will think about it. Where am I heading? Where will I spend eternity? Will I follow the devil? Obey his voice? Or repent towards God? And accept Jesus Christ to my heart? That he will work on me. Because there is no sin. Jesus Christ cannot forgive. It's because of that. He died on the cross of Calvary. He shed that sinless blood for the remissions of the sins of this world. The Bible said God was in his son Jesus Christ reconciling the world back to himself. Yeah. You should be one except you rejected his appeal to you. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Verse 11. Then the devil Leave it him. And behold, angels came and ministered unto him. Let me stop there. If you obey God, you are in a trouble. When it comes to critical, God will send his angels to come and minister to you. Hallelujah. He never fails. He's a true God. He does what is right. There's no unrighteousness in him. He's, there's no unrighteousness in him. He is holy. He is the truth. He is the life. He is the light of the world. Amen. And wherever he stands, no darkness. Mm -hmm. That's why anytime Jesus appears at a place and darkness is there, which represents sickness, disease, death, when he shows up, his presence, literally the light and drive away the darkness. And those who are in trouble, they have got life now. They are made whole. They are delivered. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. To conclude, I'm making a call to you. Don't just hear this message and sit on it. We have no more time to waste. God is calling you. Come unto me. Or either labor. And I have a him for I'll give you rest. It means rest. For I am the prince of peace. I am the Lord of laws. I am the healer. I am the deliverer. Death cannot do anything about me. Death cannot keep me in the grave. That's why I rose from the grave on the third day. And those who believe on me, I gave them justification. That they will no more be slave to sin. And when they ask anything, God, God will provide for them. What do you want? A journey of a thousand miles. Begin with step. Take the first step toward Jesus Christ. And repent towards God. And you will turn your life around. Many people have been in that situation. But when they obey the voice of God, their life has changed. They are on the way to eternal life. Eternity long. We will not spend the rest of the years on this earth. It is appointed unto man once to die. And after that judgment, yeah. when you face the judgment, what are you going to answer to God? The devil is not going to judge you. 
You will stand before the judgment throne when your deeds shall be put before you. You cannot lie. You cannot deny it. But if you repent now, all will be forgiven. And you will be made whole. I thank God that we have come this far. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord.